going on guys? XSR Detroit here with another video for you. Today I'll be showing you how to change the oil on your XSR 900 or MT-09 of the same generation. Really easy to do, so let's grab some tools and get to work. This is the oil and filter I'll be using. I like the K&N because they have a wrench end on the end of the filter, which makes taking it off really easy. As far as oil, I usually run Mobile One, but uh, I guess they were sold out, so I just grabbed some Castrol Power One 10W40 Full Synthetic. The first thing I'm gonna do is get my bike on stands. Uh, normally, you're probably gonna be okay with just putting up the rear wheel, but my oil container is on the taller side, so I do the front and rear. Before I drain the oil, I'm gonna start the bike up, get the engine warmed up, and get all that old oil circulating. On the bottom of the motorcycle, we have our oil drain plug and our oil filter. So I'm going to remove the drain plug. It's a 17 millimeter. Something you just noticed there, my, my drain plug is not on tight. I just snug it on. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but this should not be hard to crack loose at all. So I'll crack it loose and remove it. Now that I've drained the oil, we're gonna replace the plug. So that's finger tight, right? What we're gonna do is very gently just apply a little bit of torque. There is a uh, torque value in the service manual. I've never <laughs> used the torque value for an oil drain plug, so just, just tighten it up a little bit. You don't wanna crack the oil pan and turn an oil change into a real fucking headache. Now I'm going to remove the oil filter, which coincidentally the box end on this is also 17 millimeters, so I didn't even have to grab another wrench. Some more of that oil, let that drain out a little bit. Got my new filter. What I'm gonna do is put a little bit of oil on the seal. And what I'm gonna do is now that it's flush, I'm just gonna give it a turn right about there. That's it. No tools necessary. Over here on the brake side of the bike, just beneath the clutch is our oil fill port. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove this. So the total capacity for the oil on this motorcycle with a filter change is 2.7 quarts. So go ahead and grab a funnel. We'll start filling this up. Now that I've got all my oil in the bike, we're going to replace the fill plug. Wipe this area down. I'm gonna fire up the bike and get this new oil circulating through the engine. So I let the bike run for a few minutes and then I cut it off and gave it a couple minutes to let the oil collect back into the pan. This is the oil fill window. Now on the side here, we've got two marks. We've got one here and one here. And basically you want your oil to be in the middle of these two marks to know that you have the correct amount of oil in the bike. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Uh, one thing I really like about this bike is, as far as doing maintenance stuff, everything is very accessible. This oil change should take you like 10 minutes tops. Usually what I do is I do an oil change at the beginning of spring, like when the riding season is starting. And if I rack up enough miles, I'll just do another one in the summer. But yeah, uh, if you have any questions, sound off in the comments section. If you like the video, please consider subscribing. And as always, ride fast, ride naked, wear your helmet. I'll see you in the next one.